Okay, so I'm right here with the fancy bride. Say hello. Okay, so I made it to Houston, baby. We about to turn up. I know I look like a little kid right now. I gotta do my hair. But yeah, I'm in the airport about to meet Sade and about to head to the Airbnb. And Passenger goes down and Sade trying to get into the actual Airbnb. Struggling. Struggling. <laughs> the party is here. This is the actual setup of the Airbnb. So freaking pretty. Okay. I'm definitely about to set up on social occasion. Oh, they got a karaoke machine. Super dope. And my girl already set up the bags. So cute. Love it. Okay, so this is the area. Super cute. This is the bride's room. So pretty. Bathroom. Closet. This is so nice. Room. Bathroom. Room. Towels. Yes, this is so pretty. One of my first tips for hosting a bachelorette trip would be to discuss with the bride the date, location, and who's all invited. Our bride, she picked the date and the location. She wanted to do a Texas-themed bachelorette party, but we surprised her on the decorations and also the itinerary, so she didn't know any of this until she got there. Shout out to the bridesmaids for helping me bring my vision to life. They did an excellent job. After we finished decorating, this is what it looked like. And because the Airbnb was already aesthetically pleasing, we didn't have to do too much. That was even better. I love how it turned out. So here we are waiting for Jasmine, our bride, to come downstairs. Because like I said, she didn't see anything. She didn't know anything. So she's definitely surprised. It's her first time looking at everything, the concept, all of that. And I was so glad that she loved it. I was really nervous that she wouldn't like my vision. But I'm so glad she really loved it. My second hosting tip would be to choose a theme or a color palette that the bride would love. What's her personality? What do you think she would like? And this is the cutest thing. I got this face stick of the groom from off of Etsy and I'll link it down below. She absolutely loved that. It was so funny as, as well. As we started cocktail hour, we played a game while I started making the drinks. So she passed out the bridesmaid sashes um, to match our personalities. And that was really fun, really cute. I got two, mine was Hot Mama, and I believe Party Animal. Everyone was checking out what they got in their bridesmaid bag, checking out the itineraries for the weekend because we had so much to do. We was about to have so much fun, okay? We had two signature drinks for our cocktail hour. One was the Jazzerita and the Mimosas. As you can see, Bartina Coco doing it all, okay? The drinks came out so good. Recipes are gonna be in the party guide. And then we played another game called Drop Your Panties, where she would guess who bought her these panties based on our personalities. And she did a pretty good job. Okay, this is Courtney, and I have not taken a shot yet. Is our first time eating with us? Yes. Oh.
The food and drinks at Turkey Leg Hunt were pretty good. I had the catfish with toast and fries. On today two of our Houston bachelorette trip, I'm showing you guys what's in our batch bags. In the batch party guide that I created, I have all the shopping links to all of these items. So make sure you go check that out. Tip number three would be to determine the budget with the bride and the bridal party to make sure everyone's on the same page of spending and how much we would need for places that we're going and for the items that we purchased. Here's what our itinerary looked like for the weekend, and I placed this in everyone's bag. Let me tell you, the scavenger hunt sheet was definitely fun to do. Me and Tamara, we tied, and throughout the video, you'll see some clips of me checking off that checklist. Tip number four would be to plan out the decor, the games and activities, the party favors, and the food and the drinks before you get there. To stay on theme, I picked out my wardrobe to be more of rodeo, cowgirl. So here are some fringe pants that I got from Fashion Nova, and the corset was from Fashion Nova as well. When hosting, I try to have something for everyone to do while everyone else is getting ready. We made mimosas while people were taking pictures, getting those flicks in for the content. Uh, if they, if they're not bad. You supposed to be at work. What's the day? Right. Not these supposed to be at work. I'm like, why is it traffic? Well, no, nobody's got a job. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so I know I've only been in Houston twice, but it was twice in one year. And I have to say, Camp Houston gives it to me every time. We got this big old drink that was able for all of us to drink. We got about two or three drinks out of this big old, I think it was an island punch. So good. We was ready to be lit all day. Yeah. Happy birthday. Ah, ah. 
on to the next spot, the address. I went here for my birthday and I had a good time here. We went from brunch to happy hour. We were just having such a good time. And then we went to the next spot. I think this place was called Dream. It was an older vibe crowd. And this is where I started doing my scavenger hunt. Don't mind me. I was already too lit for the day had too much fun and here is what i already checked off on my scavenger hunt and here's some of the pictures that i took with random people to check off my checklist <laughs> It's day three of the bachelorette trip. And as you can see, me and Tamara are back at Camp Houston because I love their brunch, okay? We are back at camp, okay? We're here for one night only. Last night of Houston. I don't even think I vlogged, so I'm sorry. I got a little bit. <laughs> ready for tonight, ma'am? Yes. You ready? We out here one night only. Going down. Today was the last full day of our bachelorette trip and I had to put together two tablescapes for the dinner before we went out and I'm already uh, turned I'm up for the day and how was I going to do that? Y'all stay tuned to see if I make it. to our uber driver she was so nice i can't believe she let us serenade her but we were trying to check those things off of that scavenger hunt okay back at the airbnb as you can see i am doing my magic at setting up these tablescapes i wanted to make sure that it was a little playful i had the cow print plates but have a little a little class with the little wine glasses and the table napkins Now don't ask me how I was able to function after coming from brunch and having to set up these two tablescapes, but this one was actually my favorite one. Being a black woman, I always try to find black owned businesses and I was trying to find something that could relate to us as black women on a bride's trip everything else is not really catered to us so i was able to find this great company called melanin bachelorette as you can see they have some really nice women of color type of party items so make sure you go check them out definitely was glad that i found them What's a bachelorette party without the infamous straws? These ones were glow in the dark. The girls thought it was funny and cute. The straws were from Etsy.com and the plates were from Melanin Bachelorette. And the plastic flutes were from Target and they were, I think, $6, a good price. As you can see, I have placed the party games on both of the tables so that while you're eating, you can interact with each other. I thought it was a great way to bring everyone together.
not easy. While everyone was eating, I decided to go ahead and make the party punches. And the recipe for the party punch is in the party guide. So make sure you go check that out. This party punch was called the Sex on the Rodeo. A remix to the Sex on the Beach drink, just in party size. In the previous clip, I showed you guys the pouches that I'm going to place the drink in. I mixed it all together in the pitcher, and then that's when I poured it into the pouches. The pouches are from Amazon and I got the vinyl that was put on top of it done by a lady off Etsy but if you have a Cricut that is what you can use to add the decal to the actual pouch. My advice when adding drink to the pouches is to not fill it up to the top because you do have to zip it up. And if you want to put fruits in it, you want to have enough room for it to not spill out. Our last activity for the weekend was at Hokomania Houston, which is a striptease show. It was definitely fun. My first time ever going to a striptease. And I must say, they did a good job. And I must say, performer, quiet chaos. He must have been the main character because he was giving money to be gave. We paid extra to get the bride on the stage, which was so funny because she definitely did not know this was a surprise. And she definitely had one. After a night out, we wrapped up the evening with bachelorette games and matching pajamas. We looked so good in our PJs. This game was from Melanin Bachelorette, so make sure you check them out. Because I have not seen a black man on the pinned tail before. Lastly, tip number five would be to just have fun. Enjoy everyone that you're around. Make sure that the bride is having the best time of her life. Because when she gets back home, she got to get ready for that wedding. Why was I concentrating so hard to get this pin on the body? How did y'all enjoy the weekend? We had a ball. Yes. These were the two main lit ladies. We had a ball. We had a blast. Took it easy last night. That's right. I had a great time. I have you a bruise. Yes. Yes, yes, I have a bruise too. <laughs> a fantastic time. Yes. Oh That's how you know. We had a time lit. this weekend. Yes. Yes. This is definitely fun. I hope you enjoyed this video today. This is a part one of my new series that I'm starting on my channel about hosting, party planning, party inspos, tips and tricks for you to become a great host, right? Or hostess. I also created a party guide for this actual, the last rodeo.
bachelor trip that I just went on. Um, it has shopping links. It has some ideas um, to give you so that like if you're in a crunch, because I know planning a bachelorette can be uh, time consuming. If you want to just have something that is, hey, this is quick to go, read a couple of pages and the shopping links to click on for you to choose. I gave you different options, some things that we didn't even get to use. Um, I gave you guys and the party guys, so make sure you check that out on my website, thesocialoccasion.com. And like I said, if you're in the Hampton Roads area, look your girl up. I could do some event planning for you. And let me know in the comments down below what other parties would you like to see because I, I think that you guys like my hosting and my party type content. And I love that because I love throwing parties, okay? <laughs> So yes, yeah, so this is gonna be part one of my new series on my channel. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I'm having a summer social brunch for my podcast. So I'm gonna take you guys along that journey of me planning a whole big event.